Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Cactus Lightning McQueen. So before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So during a one lap race around Willie's View with Doc Hudson, Lightning McQueen loses control and lands into a cactus patch and and Doc ordered Mater to tell him out. Leaving Doc to win the race. And, and the second time when Lightning gave Doc, received Doc's advice about turning right to go left, he turned right literally and landed in another cactus patch. And after that, he went back to repaving the main street with Bessie. And while he was brooding about, about Chick being in California schmoozing Dinoco, Guido was removing the cactuses with a spray can and Luigi tried to offer him new tires, but unfortunately Lightning wasn't very interested. And then and then a moment later, Red gave him a, a blast of water as ordered by Sally, because Sally wanted Lightning to stay clean if he if he wants to stay the night at the Cozy Cone Motel. And that is it. So now let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his confused expression, his bright red paint job, and his headlight stickers with a 95 on one of them. And, the, and on the hood we've got the, the Rusty's logo and the a bit of cactuses on it and the a lightning bolt sticker and the tar marking from when he while from repaving the road with Bessie and on the right side we've got the red rims on the black wall light your racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the the cactuses and the Rusty's logo and the 90, number 95 on the yellow retro lightning bolts and the several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitro Aid, Revolting, Octane Gang, Mood Springs, Vitaling, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, Little Torquey Pistons, RPM, Leakless, Retreading, Clutch Aid. And on the top we've got another 95 in his name signature. And a bit of cactus on the spoiler. And on the back, we've got the tail lights with a 95 on one of them, the Rusty's logo, and the yellow rookie stripes with the slogan medicated bump ointment. And on the right side, similar design but completely different with a cactus. And that is it. Now let's compare them to the regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Now, both are Lightning McQueen. Both are bright red, 95 on headlight sticker, Rusty's logo, 95 in name signature on the top, ducktail spoiler, but here are some differences. Is happy expression, confused expression, all lightning bolt stickers, one lightning bolt sticker in the tar marking, cactus, no cactus, ninety five on yellow retro lightning bolt, Rusty's logo, gas cap, gas cap covered by the cactus, exhaust pipes. Red rims on black wall light year racing tires. Contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitro Aid, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, 
Gasprin, Gaskets, Easy Idle, Little Torquey Pistons, RPM, Leakless, Retraining Clutch Aid, Cactus on Window, on Sides, No Cactus on Window or Sides, Rusty's Logo, Rusty's Logo covered by the Cactus, Both have 95 on a taillight sticker, Rusty's logo, and the yellow rookie stripes with the slogan medicated bump ointment. And that is it. And now let's pull up some of the other versions of McQueen and Cars 1. We've got Ton Lightning McQueen. Finish Line Lightning McQueen, Dirt Track Lightning McQueen, Cruising Lightning McQueen, Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen, and Dynaco Lightning McQueen. And that is completely it. So what do you guys think? Which version of Lightning McQueen from the first Cars film is your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and make a suggestion of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next. Please consider the support by subscribing and viewing my channel in order for me for my, to get more public views and my channel to be monetized. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys next time for another review. I, I'm sorry, I already said that. Goodbye now.